up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Michael Bisping and Lyoto Machida. Machida, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but no more as a Shotokan karate black belt. If you're looking for guys who really put the discipline of karate on the UFC map, look no further than this man, Lyoto Machida. And how about the list of wins for Lyoto Machida? Mark Munoz, Dan Henderson, Ryan Bader, Randy Couture, Tiago Silva. Lyoto Machida has a wins list that competes with anybody in UFC history. We know that Machida comes from a traditional karate background, and he's adapted it perfectly for MMA. He's extremely elusive, has pinpoint accurate punches and kicks, and is deceptively powerful. Michael Bisping, unbelievable career for Michael the Count Bisping. Not a lot of people thought he would eventually realize a UFC championship. That's what he did in 2016. Few men have won more UFC fights in the history of the promotion than the 38-year-old Michael Bisping. Bisping is a very disciplined fighter. He's got good wrestling, beautiful stand-up technique, and solid cardio. He has a very impressive record with wins over solid competition like Chris Lieben, Dan Miller, and Dennis King. for this heavyweight fight. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup here. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical coming in here tonight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC heavyweight division. And now is finishing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, Michael the Count B. Where the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Are you ready? You ready? Let's and go. we are underway. Lyoto Machida is perhaps the very best fighter at lunging in with unpredictable striking. His sniper like attack is very confusing to opponents as well as his unusual karate stance. His takedown defense is highly underrated. He also has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This thing gets hit by that leg kick. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge tonight? The Oda Machida can do it all with his striking, but one of his best weapons is his left hook. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. He faints with the kick. Nice. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Nice punch there by Bisping. Midway through round one. Excellent head movement. Big looping right hand there.
That one hurt. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Front kick to the face. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Seconds now to go in the round. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Wow. And he eats a kick. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Rings out for the end of round one. You're not showing anything before. You gotta show me something else. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Excellent striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. All right, so second round getting underway here. Competitive first round, Joe. Not necessarily a round of the year per se, but high level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? One of the real characteristics of Bisping's career has been his busyness. He's a very busy fighter. Throws a high volume of strikes, and his cardio is just outstanding. He had a resting heart rate of 34 beats per minute, which is bananas. That's like a marathon runner, triathlete type heart rate. See the total stretch? Machida's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Well-placed kick there by Machida. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, hit kick blocked by this man. Machida gets caught with that punch. And speed, man. Landing a good series of strikes here. Bispin gets touched by that kick there. Look at that, he's timing that jab. It's the speed. And there he swung with the haymaker. Fainting with that kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Oh, double jab. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Hit him with the jab. Very nice leg kick there by Machida. Under a minute to go. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target with a beautiful inside leg kick by Machida. He hits him with a hammer fist. Full guard here. Big punch from the top. Back to the feet now. 
Hits him with the straight. Nice job there by Bisman. Trademark inside leg kick there by Machine. All right, round three coming up next. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. We've really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Listen, start using more of your strikes. Add some knees in there. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. Third round underway. So far, phenomenal performance that we're so privileged to be able to watch. Huge block there. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Machi. Total strikes. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice jab. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, now there's a nice leg kick. Machida going for the head kick here, but no setup whatsoever, Joe, so nothing doing. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Machida gets caught with that punch. That bruise on his torso is getting much worse. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Goes to the body there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Machida. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. I like the way he mixed that up here. One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. Oh, nice leg kick. Effective punch there by Bisbee. Missed that shot. Less than a minute now to go in the round. left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Oh, and he's down! Bisbee gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. Oh, the he landed is there, Joe. He's down! Unbelievable. This is where you need really educated judges. Round one, great accuracy on that shot. A lot of great striking throughout this fight. And again, here in round two, beautiful technique here. Times that strike perfectly. Round three, beautiful technique in this punch here, and it finds its way to the head. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Michael the Count is 
Well, his future is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is still getting it done on the big show. Congratulations to Michael Bisping, Jason Perillo, and the rest of the team. This was a turn-back-the-clock type of performance out of Michael Bisping here tonight. Certainly had to lean on his patented toughness at times, but you can't